good afternoon and thank you very much for Cornell Health Cluster for the invitation and for Crick Vinitsa for the organization and I guess all of us we are not happy not to be in this nice resort but we are positive and I really like the title of our agenda positive way forward for health tourism and today I hope end of the year we will get a lot of uh, information and uh, um, ideas from each other that we will survive this crisis and in long term we can make also fantastic business of that. So as you see, use the chance, health will be the new currency, it's already a new currency and definitely a new status symbol for uh, Europeans and worldwide. Uh, we have to work not only with the politicians, but also with our target group and to get our new target group, because most of the people will be much sensitive for the topic health and they will invest in health. Not everybody will trust on the public health system. So definitely we, I mean, uh, what I want to explain you, how to change our communication, how to uh, provide new services in high tourism. As a representative and general secretary of the European Spa Association, I will tell you this uh, content or new advice uh, from the perspective of uh, European health resort, medical spas. And as you see, we don't fight against coronavirus, we fight as the most important American medical journal says Lancet, we need a much better prevention and actually we fight uh, uh, to have a much better control and um, health services to provide better health services for control of chronic disease. Biology and health results could be one of the main products uh, as we heal without side effects and um, climate health resorts at that time are not that high on the agenda of in the tourist business or health tourist but this will be definitely one of the future projects that we have to go on and i was very surprised uh, that um, studies which was made for davos world congress was not that much published when they asked people if the corona, uh, COVID-19 uh, corona vaccine are available, how many people will uh, take it or how, how much they want to um, be in the first line to get these vaccines? This is definitely a huge help for tourists that our industry will still keep alive. But surprisingly, countries like Russia, Poland, Hungary, France, uh, 20% of the population, and if you talk about Belgium, Germany, Netherlands, um, Great Britain, it's less than 50%. So this is one information why we have a good chance. And uh, for me, the message that Europeans need or we have to offer and other alternatives um, for pandemics or for this kind of uh, crisis situation in the health sector. Um, a new market analysis from Germany, and I know that uh, for Croatia and for many countries, Germany is the main source market. So um, when they ask uh, people, what do you, how do you understand uh, health? And our main target group, which is the 50 plus, um, I see some big changes in the answer. I'm not surprised that most of the people are telling uh, personal well-being and it's getting more, I would say, a more educated um, tourists with uh, almost 60% balance of uh, body, mind and soul. But the big change, and I see from 10, 20 years, it was more like a passive uh, services, do the best with me and I hope I will get uh, healthy again. Now, the understanding is much more about personal fitness. We want to be fit and uh, motivated. So infrastructure in, uh, in physical uh, um, activities, in the nature, 
and a lot of other entertainment which has to be related to sport. Which is our main agenda and the main project now on. With COVID-19, we will receive a lot of new target group, but we have to change also our services. We have to change our communication. So I would say new orientation means we have to show our medical competence. And most of our members, and I, I brought some uh, good examples. For example, in Iceland, they are very specialized and uh, I would say a, a very, very healthy and traditional nutrition program with mental health. From France, I um, brought the idea about um, mental health program, spa rehabilitation and mental health clinic in one resort, corporate health management. And before COVID came, and the European Union's agenda had agenda, the most important topic was EU beating cancer care. And in this way, the French colleagues are doing a really good job. So uh, I hope this network will help uh, to exchange this kind of good uh, experience uh, between each other. So healthy lifestyle, we have to communicate and our medical competencies in this relation has to be strong uh, together. Prevention of chronic disease and which is still not published that much. But I see from some of our members, they do a really good job. And uh, even privately, I, I ask many times, rehabilitation of COVID-19 patients. And of course, because of the aging population, uh, how to age with vitality, that these kind of programs will be uh, very important. Um, besides our services, I mean, what we offer in medical spas and health resorts, um, we have to take care, and that should be the main difference between other um, head, um, touristic destinations, the healthy environment. So we have to provide a green, sustainable um, destination and not overcrowded destination because that's uh, what most of our clients will look for. Some example, again, from Germany, from North Germany, from an island, Healing Forest, which was made for kids, always on the mobile devices, and uh, losing motoric and balance competencies. So even for the young generation, as you see, um, World Health Organization, the European section, because we have this health, healthcare system and uh, the tradition with the medical spas and health resorts, so they made already information leaflets about uh, self-management and um, rehabilitation for COVID-19 uh, related illnesses. And that's why I'm asking you again, as we have a as per e library where we try to uh, collect all medical studies and mostly we would like to publish much more updated information from all our member countries because this is the only library where, we, where doctors and politicians and, and anybody, even end, uh, users, they can look for uh, information. Um, as I said, prevention, rehabilitation, and to fight against COVID, it's not only about vaccines, and that's what we have to prove. And for example, um, our chair uh, members uh, made, I would say, the best case how to use the money of state that which was provided by the European Union. They had a kind of voucher system only for medical spas, minimum booking of six nights and five uh, medical treatments. And one other example from uh, our Lithuanian colleagues, that they give voucher for the medical workers and now they uh, prepare a separate program for teachers. Again, uh, uh, um, market analysis, uh, one is taking us calm down and our tourism will grow in a smaller steps and we have to wait until we come back to the level what we would like to have or what was before the COVID-19. But as you see, our main target group 50 plus, 70 plus. This study was also made ma uh, market analysis uh, just end of October, our main target group is still willing to travel. And from uh, this target group, 
uh, almost 60% they say they want to travel abroad next year. They have really uh, good plans and they want to keep it. They have money, they have time and they want to spend it uh, in, uh, in Europe. Corporate health, which is definitely the success for the business and um, uh, in Germany, and this should be for most of us a good example, to work together and to develop programs with the insurance companies, with the health insurance companies. And uh, here, uh, the prevention program made uh, especially for craft um, and businesses, um, <laughs> More, more than 50% uh, of the whole cost for this prevention will be paid by the health insurance company. But uh, also another example uh, from Slovakia, they made, uh, for example, for obesity, which is actually uh, today will be published by the European Union uh, for the um, Commissioner for Health. <coughs> Beside cancer care, the second um, a uh, big project which will start, it's also fighting against obesity. But why we are happy and now we have, I'm asking you for teamwork, uh, before the holiday, uh, summer holiday, uh, the European Parliament voted the resolution to support tourism. And one specific agenda was dedicated for health tourism, medical wellness, spa, prevention, biology, sustainable tourism. Here, we, it's our um, goal to provide the right contact for the Commission to make also the right tenders and uh, uh, state ad programs for health tourism. How, I, how the future and the, the market is moving, um, and this is also important information, data is from Slovakia. They made a research about um, um, percentage of uh, people, they have uh, medical uh, spa holidays, which is paid by the health insurance and the private payers. And as you see, the most growing uh, part is the private payers. So that's why they, they need uh, other kind of uh, content from us. We have to explain them, we have to educate them, and we have to serve with a lot of information of the medical result because they are paying by their own. We are also in contact with the European Health Expert Group and we try to promote climate health resort medical spas and all our huge portfolio and medical services and medical, uh, good medical stuff. So um, EU citizens are demanding sustainability for environment and nutrition, but now it's really time also for sustainable methods in the medical treatment. I don't know how many of you uh, follow uh, the Congress um, of the European Union uh, uh, mid of October. As you see, we do believe that high tourism has a much better future. And in this way, we provide services for citizens, for the region, for the domestic and for international tourists as well. Immune system boosting and healthy lifestyle. This is what people will easily understand also politicians hopefully will understand and that's why we have to provide these special um, new products uh, and to explain much more about the services behind it. This is again a brand new study um, of a German uh, tourist plan for 2021. Croatia, you are in the top five so it's not only beach holiday, try to promote also your health resort and uh, climate health resort on the seaside and the mountains. As you are um, very loved by the main source market. As you see, uh, when they look for a rich kind of uh, product and um, environment they are looking for, it's definitely number one sustainable um, health offer and to be away from overcrowded destination. The question how they book, it's more complicated because definitely online booking is number one, but the pandemics um, and the regulation with the guarantee by the travel agencies showed much more um, comfortable system by the travel agencies. If you book online, you have to go for each um, 
services maybe you spend some months or a year to get back your money but if you book by a travel agent you get it back in a few weeks and the whole amount so how to improve the health destination the good message for us back to the roots we are not uh, having the water parks and uh, only entertainment we have to show our medical competencies so with had eating with had recreation uh, a very green and sustainable environment and using local remedies also for me it's very important whenever we talk about um, natural remedies without side effect and as you see more opportunities for smaller less crowded health resorts and definitely the safety hygienic uh, has to be in a completely other level and it's a quite uh, balancing act for us how to be part of the or, or to to show a serious services like in a hospital but in another way we are still leisure recreation having fun holiday entertainment so but maybe in the panel discussion we can talk uh, a little bit more about it. all our uh, uh, publication were concentrating on the five uh, future big growing potential uh, subjects, respiratory problem, cardiovascular disease, overweight, mental health, and lifestyle changes. These are our five main groups where we have to concentrate. And I was wondering when the European Union uh, still uh, showing information and official way that there is no cure for COVID, yes, there is a cure and uh, we had to react that we are very sorry that they are not informed about this know-how heritage of Europe using natural remedies. And uh, even in the first wave and the second wave, most of our members were a really strong partner for the public health care. And now we are actually only the one uh, main partner to provide COVID rehabilitation as well. It's not exactly uh, related to our Congress, but it's a big challenge now and we have a very hard discussion in the European Spa Association, the medical devices regulation. Please check uh, this uh, regulation of the European Union because we have two groups and now soon we have to find um, our um, uh, decision in which part uh, we, we will see the future. Do we have to um, make a new certification for all our natural remedies or the older one which was so, uh, given by the national health authorities is still uh, uh, available and uh, we don't need any changes. Please note the date of our next Congress. We have Croatia Terme Tuhei in a very good memory. And the next Congress will be in Slovenia, which is not far away from you. So hosted by a program Innovation Award and the International Press Week, which was a really, really good success. Uh, we try to combine Congress and business. And if you have any question, please check also our website, uh, europeanspa.eu, or follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn. We try to uh, publish a lot of um, research programs and information, and I'm happy to work with Partner Health Tourism as well. Thank you very much.